There are around 124 species of coffee beans, but the world's producers have harvested only two varieties, Arabica and Robusta. The somewhat abandoned Coffea stenophylla coffee bean, recently rediscovered in the forests of Sierra Leone, might just be an industry game changer. We traveled towards the Liberian border. Again, another lengthy trek through the forest. And when we reached the correct elevation, and the correct sort of environment, we did in fact find a healthy population of Stenophylla coffee, which was absolutely fantastic. But the other element to this study uh, came from the climate analysis. And, and there we were able to show that Stenophylla coffee can grow at an ambient uh, mean annual temperature 6.2 to 6.8 degrees Celsius above Arabica. So compared to Arabica, it's extremely heat tolerant. And that is unique and exciting. Once widely tilled in Upper West Africa, the Stenophylla plant is generally no longer farmed and has not been easily spotted over the last decades by concerned harvesters in the sector. But as climate change sees the world's average global temperature rise, the fact that the Stenophylla coffee bean can grow in much higher temperatures than the limiting 19 degrees Celsius of the other two more familiar varieties is great news for coffee producers. By far and away, the best solution so far is to produce climate resilient crops. And you know, we've seen that from uh, the, the coffee farming community. That's, what, that's the thing they're asking us for, new crop species that can withstand you know, the altered climate that we're already seeing and will increasingly see over the coming decades with the proviso that we have a marketable product. And for a marketable product, we need yield and we need a great flavor. Coffee drinkers worldwide at the ready, as in 2020, Davis's research team took the beans to high-end coffee company Union Coffee, whose expert tasting panel deemed its coffee a speciality.